Not gonna have to worry about scurvy on this trip. <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Date and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome to Forever Home! This game is absolutely amazing. If you like Final Fantasy, if you like Chrono Trigger, uh, this game's about 30 hours long. Lots and lots of stuff to uh, experiment with. You've got lots of skills, lots of talents, lots of uh, people that'll join your party. Oh, it is it is absolutely amazing. We can learn some different techs and magic once we uh, kill a few more enemies. You get PP for every enemy killed, so we'll try and do that eventually. This is the very, very start of the game. I'm going to try not to spoil things too much for you, but um, yeah, suffice to say that we need to leave our home. And to do that, we will go to the Ballet Underpass and see if we can uh, meet up with the, uh, the Blaze General and help him in his quest. There's a couple of towns. One is fighting for freedom, obviously. That's the, uh, that's the one that I'm from. There's some spoilers right there. Said I wasn't going to try to spoil it. Fucked it up pretty promptly, but I guess that's not a huge spoiler. Uh, it does demonstrate, though, that this game covers some, uh, some ground that most games wouldn't, uh, especially in the SNES era. You know, they didn't want to get too political, but this game is not scared to do that. We'll go ahead and get in a fight with this uh, slime, and my party strikes first since we hit him from behind. Go ahead and slash this flapper fella up, and uh, Slash is going to attack. He's the guy that's that's leading us. He's the big baddie. Look at that, 290 damage. Ridiculous! And uh, the main character here is Zero. He's got like lightning magic and whatnot, and uh, is uh, his adopted sister, I suppose you'd call her. She's got fire magic. Uh, Slash has also got fire magic. So let's check out what we got here. Magic Defense Boost Shard. So we can equip shards to our character, which is really, really nice. We've also got some field skills. So I will use Flame Shot to hit that switch. Bam! Across, across the bridge we go and uh, attack by snakes. Of course, every time. I hate these snakes. That's all right. We're going to take them down relatively easily. End and zero on one and then slash on the last one. Should uh, take care of that pretty easily. 412. What? That is a crit, son. That is what we call a crit. So, obviously, the art style, the music, there's really nothing not to like about this game. The story is super, super long, uh, which obviously, if you like RPGs, you should be pretty into that, I think. Um, and additionally, the game only costs $5. $5. Are you kidding me? That's fucking amazing. I'm uh, taken aback with how much love and care and just uh, attention went into this game. It was apparently 13 years in the making. The dev did start over just a couple of times, but um, yeah, for good reason, I suppose. This was made an RPG maker, but definitely uh, not a game to be scoffed at just for the engine that it's running on, because the combat is extremely enjoyable. Extremely intuitive, um, and yeah, I, I sunk quite a bit of time into this game, and I have no regrets. I plan on finishing it, haven't quite finished it yet, but the story does get uh, pretty juicy. Juicy indeed. There's a bat over there. Obviously, I've kind of forgotten where to go at the beginning of the game, but that's cool. It's like um, more legit or something like that, so I got Mind Freeze which means I'm not going to be able to use any uh, skills. Slash can't use any skills at least, but Zero can, so we'll go ahead and uh, try lightning on this snake thing. And it was weak, but it killed it, so I'll take that. And then we gotta get rid of these bats. Fucking zoo bats! Always in the cave, man! And now Enda's able to one-shot them. So, she's got a bit more agility, but a lot less health than Zero. Um, but yeah, don't get you too used to the characters, because as you could probably guess in like the uh, Final Fantasy style, some of the characters do end up getting swapped out and things like that for whatever reason. Uh, but it's pretty, pretty enjoyable. The characters that uh, come in to replace each other are always a pleasure to get to know, and they've got unique skills and everything like that. So super, super nice. Zero leveled up again. Obviously, we're. Uh, we're lobies yet, so it's it's going to be pretty easy to level things up. Here we've got a couple of fire bugs, so I will not use any uh, fire techniques on them. 
had to learn that the hard way, and then they get like their little plus attack boost. So, uh, you don't want to hit them unless you know you're going to kill them, but sometimes it's just unavoidable. And right now, yeah, things are pretty easy to overcome, relatively. Um, things don't hit too hard, you're not going to have to worry about getting KO'd this early in the game. I gotta hit this switch over, mia. Shazam! And then a little stairway opens up. And we'll go back around. Back around, getting through our first cave. There's a bit of puzzle solving in this game. It took me a, a few minutes just to, to figure out how to get through here, which I do like in my vidya. Uh, just a little bit of making my brain work and whatnot. Another switch there. They want to make sure that you know how to use your field skills, because it's definitely going to come in handy. And then uh, here we'll demonstrate another field skill, which is Enda's Gus Jump. So, uh, go ahead. Yeah. This platform can be activated. I will do just that. So now we're up here. Found a nimble cape. That could be quite useful. Let's see what it do. Let's see what it do. Nimble cape. Uh, plus four agility. That's, that's not too bad. I could equip it to somebody, but uh, it's not quite necessary. Not yet, anyways. So, there's not much to the right. I'm going to go ahead and head upwardly. And as we cross this bridge, you'll see we've got another disgusting bug creature coming to ruin our day. But that's not going to be a problem. Not for this crew. This hardy crew of adventurers. So, I didn't quite uh, smack that snake down hard enough. That's fine, I'll clean that up. And then uh, Slash should be able to take down the big bug. Everybody's looking in relatively good health. Enda's hurting a little bit, but uh, we've got plenty of apples and eggs. Foods to feed my, my motley crew. And um, yeah, relatively easy to find the healing items. You can also buy them, obviously. And then there's crafting in this game. So you like armor, you like cooking, you like all that stuff. You can easily uh, craft some, some nice items once you find the recipes. So we'll continue on across the bridge. I'll find a slime just for fun, because that's what we do around here. I'll go ahead and slice this blob up. I think the blob should have like more of a physical resistance. They seem to go down relatively easy, but uh, I'm not going to complain about that. Generally in games when you see a, a jelly, a blob, a slime, you have to use magic on it, but that doesn't seem to be the case here. Which uh, I guess I'm not going to complain about too much. So now we are in the lower Rensa fields. And uh, let's see if we can find our way through here. I hope, I hope. And is there a way up? Oh, gotta go across the, the stepping stones. That'll do. Uh, it did take me just a second to figure out how to use the stepping stones. Obviously, I'm still not doing uh, fantastically at that, but that's okay. Sometimes we slip up. That's life. And here we go. Got some uh, bigger monsters now. So, so, so. Let's try and get some magic going. I've got fire. Um, let's try that on the rays. And he's weak to it. Hell yeah, he is. Gonna take him down quick. And uh, that dude seemed to run away, which I guess I'm not going to complain about. Let's go ahead and finish that off. And then this has like an area of effect damage. You can see the little circle. So it's going to also hit that, uh, that little moth fellow and is able to take him down as well. So nicely done. All we've got is the fire bug. Slash is going to slash that thing. And we are out of there. Ah, uh, I really like the combat in this game. Do we have enough for uh, a, a bit of skill up? We've got 54 PP. Maybe we could learn something. Learn text. We could uh, get replenish. We could also get delay, which is a bit of magic. Slows an enemy down. Yeah, we'll do that. Why not? So now I've got an additional magic, which is uh, going to be pretty nice. Obviously, it does have that uh, chrono trigger kind of thing to it where uh, y your bar fills up and then that tells you how fast you're able to attack. So if you're able to delay someone, all the better. So Firebug A is getting powered up. I'm going to go ahead and try and finish it off and fail miserably. So hopefully uh, it's not going to hurt my party too bad. 
I won't bother finishing it off with Slash because I know Slash can one-shot stuff. Obviously, just uh, a bit of basic RPGing here, but absolutely delicious for what is presented, especially for the price. Holy shit, I'm just uh, taken aback at how much of a deal this is. Uh, unfortunately, Slash can't attack because he got Muscle Freeze, so I'm going to charge him up and uh, recover some of that TP, which is used for the abilities and whatnot, or rather, the uh, the techs. You've got magic and you've got techs. Two different uh, sort of skills, which I think is pretty interesting. Everybody in my party seems to be getting smacked up. Let's use uh, an apple. No, we don't need an apple. That's 500. He's a tiny egg. Here, Enda, eat this. You feel better. And boom, she does. She feels so good she knocked that fucking bug out. Zero gets his level. Obviously, level's coming uh, a bit fewer and far between now, but no complaints here. And I found an orange. Delicious citrus. Not gonna have to worry about scurvy on this trip. Not yet, at least. Look at this, look at this fucking giant bush. What is this? What is this? I'm gonna see if fire works on it. Rinse a grub. Well, fire doesn't seem to do that much. I thought it was a bush, but it's a giant uh, bug creature. Oops. Well, he resists physical, so that's not too nice. Let's try Slash's fire and see what it do. Yeah, that's a little bit better. 436. But that physical resist is quite something, isn't it? Unfortunately, I'm not able to use delay. I don't have enough uh, MP with the zero. But that's gonna be fine. Slash has got enough to use one more fire. And down it goes. I'm gonna try and avoid those things from now on. They're nasty. Big and nasty. I fought tougher laundry stains. <laughs> uh, the characters are all really enjoyable, obviously. They've got their little sayings after the battle. And, um, I don't know. Zero is the kind of protagonist that some might be annoyed by. He's a bit uh, presumptuous and whatnot. Uh, a bit too overconfident. But, yeah. Overall, he's, he's pretty likable, obviously. He's got his little, uh, his little jokes. And jokes and jokes and jokes! Let's hop down here. Shazoop, shazoop. Alright. Uh, one thing that kind of bugs me out is you can't cross over every, uh, piece of terrain. Like, these little flowers and little craters and stuff will block your path. Which I guess I'm not gonna complain too much about. You know, it could be a lot worse. But, um, it kind of makes me just... Wonder. Wonder why is that? And I attacked my own teammate, god damn it. <laughs> oh, I need to pay more attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so, uh, you could get some prism techs going. Look at that, cleaves a single enemy with eight lightning cuts. Unfortunately, I don't have enough, uh, enough TP to use it, so I'm gonna go ahead and try and charge zero up. See if we can get that going. Demonstrate some of them skills. I demonstrated the lightning, um, the lightning and fire techs pretty well already. Let's get rid of Firebug A since I think he's gonna attack next. And hopefully Enda's gonna live. Oh, it's gonna be close. Nope, she goes down. That sucks. Well, let's do what we can against these little squirrets. And, um, yeah. Slash is gonna carry us through, so I don't need to worry too much. I don't have too much to worry about because I got this, uh, what is he, level 12 or something? Carrying around my level 5 now characters. They were like level 1. And the last squirt flees. Ha ha ha. Let's keep moving. Yes, yes please. Now, Enda's gonna need a little bit of, uh, healing. So let's see what we got. Um... How much does the roll? 7% MP. Hmm. We need to save this orange, that's a thousand. I'll feed her another egg. You like eggs, don't you? Keep you nice and healthy. Keep your bones strong. Lots of calcium. Because it was gonna be a baby. But you killed it. You killed it by eating it. So now we're in the upper Renza fields. I'm sure there's, uh, some more stuff to explore. You can get some goodies and whatnot. Some more shards and things like this. But, uh... Overall, yeah, I just I just kind of want to keep it moving. 
we'll at least get into chapter two and then I'll, I'll call it and hopefully you guys will be inspired to go buy this game because it is fucking fantastic. 13 years in the making and worth every year, I would say. And especially for the price. I can't, I can't say enough good things about the price. I mean, five dollars. How much did I pay for Chrono Trigger back in the day? Probably 20, 30, something like that. And that was after the video game crash. Nowadays, if Chrono Trigger came out, you'd be dropping 60 bucks on it. Um, you know, assuming that it was like the same kind of, uh, the same, what am I trying to say? <laughs> the same kind of quality? I don't want to say that because it's, that makes it sound like it's, uh, not quality. And it definitely is, but the same, uh, sort of technology. I guess that's what I'll go with. Stumbling over my words here. So all we have here is a guard tower and a guard. Go on through, Corporal. HQ's expecting you. So now we are back through the map into the Blaze headquarters. And uh, we're going to launch a counterattack. Hell yeah. Welcome back, Slash. I was nervous when Morrison showed up without you. Now we're all here, bro. I brought some kids with me. <laughs> hey, buddy. Glad you're still kicking. How was the trip? Ah, uh, don't want to talk about it? Yeah, it's pretty brutal, dude. And here, this way, we've got a, our receptionist here, wonderfully done. We won't even say hi to her, though, because we're just kind of dicks like that, I guess. Well, I guess, I, I, whatever. I'll say hi to her later, introduce myself kind of thing. That's just how it's going to be, I guess. I really would like to do a playthrough of this game. I know it's going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of episodes, but uh, it's just a really great game. I really enjoy it a lot, and it would be different than uh, something like Chrono Trigger, which fucking everybody and their mother's done. I did consider Chrono Trigger, honestly, uh, for a playthrough, but this uh, tempts me in a lot more. So you might just see it show up one of these days uh, as a series, but for now it's, it's just a review, and my review is fucking fantastic. Please, please go support this dev. Stay here till I get back. Don't go wandering. Okay. I definitely won't, probably. Yes, we will. Now what do we do? Let's look for Garen. We have to tell him what happened. That's right, we do. My dad? I don't think he's here. I think he spends most of his time on the front lines. We'll never know, just sitting around. Come on, let's wander. <laughs> Ugh, you're gonna get us in trouble like always. Yeah, that's Enda for you. She, uh, she always puts Zero into... into Silly situations. Yeah, these characters are just super, super likable. Um, I would say almost guaranteed you'll see this come back as a recurring series. But for now, I will conclude this review. I don't want to uh, get too deep into things because there's uh, a lot to get into, I suppose. But please go check this game out. If it looks like something you would enjoy, it definitely, definitely is. And uh, great, great job to Pixel Blade, who is the dev. I really can't wait to see some more. Hopefully it doesn't take 13 more years, but even if it does, I will wait because it is tasty. Tasty, tasty. Anyways, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Forever Home, and it will be back. I promise you that. Um, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy the episode. We've also got Discord, Patreon links, Twitter links in the description. You can check out any of those. Help to support the channel because uh, I want to get out there. I want to grow bigger. And uh, I want to bring you guys some, some games that you might find quite tasty as well. So let me know what you thought. Um, if you liked it, if you hated it. But you probably liked it because uh, it, it's so likable. <laughs> it's so tasty. We didn't even hardly hear the characters talk, but when they did, it's, uh, yeah, it has a lot of personality. It exudes personality, so, again, wonderful job to the devs. Thank you so much for bringing this to my attention. It will be back, but until then, friends, I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. This has been Forever Home, and I will see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye One, two, three... Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends